The reason that we train in stores is to proof the dogs on lots of different distractions, get them neutral to both people and dogs that they may see in public. I don't want the dogs going home and just work, being able to work you know, in the home or in the backyard. We want them proofed around a variety of distractions, including places like Home Depot, where it's very loud and rambunctious. Lots of things are happening, customers, workers, um, wood is banging. We just want them to be ready for anything that life can throw at them. So when we bring them out to the stores, I want them to have a good understanding of sit, down, place, heel, so loose leash walking, the recall for the adult dogs. We'll work on all that stuff before we ever bring them to the stores. Place, for instance, that's one that comes in handy for in stores. So when there's lots of distractions happening and the dogs getting kind of nervous, I'll ask them to place on something you know, with some height on it and that'll give them that confidence boost that like, hey, I'm above the scary things. We practice it on an elevated place cot at the, the kennel, but out here we'll start to go higher and higher, just more nervous that they are. That's what we tend to do with most of the dogs, we're proofing them off, we, we get them in and a little bit after that we wanna get them right out into the world because that's where you're gonna have them. When you take them out with you, you just make sure it's just like any other trip to the store. You don't wanna make it a special event or anything like that for them. They go out, they have fun, everything is normal. We wanna keep this neutrality into the dogs to where every place they go, it's the same.